we started with small rain barrels. Um, but that just didn't seem enough because they were small and we have a huge roof. So we wanted to do more. And so as we form this new link with a part of God's creation in this parish, we dedicate and set aside the cistern and water garden for the ministry that we share as a parish family here at St. John's. The rainwater collection system here at St. John's collects off of the roof area and fills these tubes so that it will eventually go into the cistern. So this is the first cistern above ground. This overflow pipe takes in the additional water and directs it to this below ground cistern. This cistern will eventually accommodate a solar powered fountain and any overflow from this cistern goes on to the rain garden which infiltrates the stormwater back into the ground. The rain garden is being installed right next to a memorial garden which is uh, it's a sacred place on our property and it's a place where um, some members of our congregation, their ashes are scattered, and it's a quiet oasis in the middle of the city where we welcome other people as well. A rain garden is a depression in the ground. It's approximately half a meter deep. It is then filled with a combination one-third topsoil, one-third sand, and one-third compost. This is ideal for infiltrating and collecting stormwater. And it is also excellent for creating a planting garden on top of it. We selected the plants based on the amount of light that we anticipated, as well as the plants that can tolerate inundation over a short period. This is pink milkweed or swamp milkweed. It can tolerate both dry as well as well conditions. It's ideal for rainwater gardening. These are called gray-headed coneflower, and when they flower, they typically get uh, to be so tall and have a bright yellow flower with a black center, sort of like brown-eyed Susan. Here's one grass. It is called little blue stem, and it gets much bushier. All these plants start to fill out by, by the second or third year, and by this time next year, they'll all be in flower. The, uh, the native plant uh, species have uh, thick roots and they go down very deep into the ground. So what happens then is as the water flows to the rain garden, it will actually follow the roots very deeply into the garden. The ecological benefits of this is that not only are we preventing contaminants such as lead, cadmium, oil, gasoline, grease, being flushed directly into our storm sewers and then into our creeks, we're now containing that and those contaminants can be dealt with by the soil organisms. You see uh, floods happening in, in some towns and, and villages across the country because of rain and runoff. So we thought that it was appropriate to, to show that yes, uh, a small group of people can make a difference on this issue.